Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to update you on where we're at as we prepare to emerge out of lockdown as a church fellowship. You've probably heard by now that our executive have said churches can regather from the 29th of June and we've been meeting as elders and deacons just to map out a way forward for us so that we can regain confidence in gathering together as a fellowship. So I'm delighted to be able to share with you today that we plan to have our first regathering on Sunday evening, the 12th of July at 6 p.m. For now, our morning services through the month of July are going to continue as normal. We're going to be in our homes in the morning, still watching the services broadcast via our YouTube channel. But then from Sunday the 12th of July, 6 p.m., we're going to start gathering. We're going to have a small, simple uh, communion service together uh, where we can worship and enjoy the Lord. We can pray and we can be together, albeit with social distancing. So do note the new time, 6 p.m. Uh, note the date, 12th of July. And I just want to give three very brief pastoral words uh, as we prepare uh, to emerge out of this time of lockdown and prepare to regather together. First of all, I want to encourage you to appropriately manage your expectations. We're going to be meeting with social distancing in place. This means entering the church is going to have to be done safely. It means exiting the church is going to be done safely. And when we're seated together, we're going to be uh, keeping that optimum distance of two meters apart. Right throughout the gathering, we're gonna to try to maintain that two meter optimum distance of social distancing. So just prepare for what that might be like as you enter the church and exit the church. Uh, there may be a queue, for example, as you make your way in and as we get you organized into seating safely. Let's realize that we're not going to be singing congregationally initially. I hope there'll be a musical element uh, as a couple of people minister to us uh, in song, but we won't be singing together. Uh, so let's prepare for that. It is really important that we gather together again physically where we can worship the Lord and pray and especially enjoy uh, the breaking of bread around the Lord's Supper together. Um, but we're going to be doing this with social distancing, so, th so things are going to be uh, a little bit different. We won't be able to shake hands and hug and, and mingle and chat together as, as normal, um, but it will be, I believe, a beautiful time together as we worship the Lord again. Second, I want to encourage you uh, to exercise wisdom as we prepare to regather. Some people are really excited and just ready to go in terms of regathering. Others are a bit more nervous. We want to encourage you to just take your time and not gather until you feel ready and confident to do so. Um, one other thing I should say is if, you, if you're not feeling well, if you have any of those symptoms that are associated with COVID-19, then again, wisdom would mean that it would be better for you to stay away from the gathering uh, until you're feeling uh, much better. So just exercise wisdom as you prepare to, to gather uh, or uh, to just wait until you feel you're ready to do so. And then third, I'd like to just encourage us all to uh, exercise much grace with one another as we prepare to regather. As elders and deacons, we're all uh, feeling our way forward with regathering for the first time. We've never done anything like this. Um, so I would encourage you to exercise just a lot of grace if we were to reach our capacity 49.50 in the building, we would have to say sorry to anyone else coming that we're full and that they would have to come back in a subsequent week. Um, as we make our way in, you might have to queue and wait a little while as you're given your seat. Um, so let's just try to be gracious and uh, work together as we find our confidence and find our feet again so that we can gradually move towards full enjoyment of corporate worship. We're in this together. Thanks so much for listening. God bless.